everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's promo. And today we're gonna to talk about the top seven new features on the Samsung One UI 5 Watch Beta program. Now the Watch Beta program, the One UI 5 just came out. I just signed up for it. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you my favorite top seven. There are quite a bit of new features. I will be linking the original video below this one inside the description. So this way you can take a look at the entire list of everything brand new. This one, I have had to break it down to seven things because honestly, some of them are, I think, amazing. Now, the first feature that we're gonna talk about today is one that's pretty fun. It's a way that you're able to navigate and use your watch without even touching anything. Basically, you're using the pinch of your finger or the close of your fist for you to make selections around the watch, going either uh, tapping on something, selecting something, the previous option, going to bigger menu. And so how you're able to turn this on and first what it's called is gesture navigation. So how you can turn it on is you want to go inside of the watch settings and then you're going to scroll down and take a look at accessibility because it is a accessibility feature. Maybe for some it may be harder for them to use their fingers and be a little bit more accurate. Maybe it's easier for them to do something like this or like this uh, or maybe you're cooking chicken or eating chicken and it's all greasy and you don't want to touch your screen. It's another way you can interact. So it's going to be inside of the interaction and dexterity and it's called universal gestures now once you turn this on there's a few different activation gestures this one is the shake gesture so you shake it twice it's going to pop right on you have the nod gesture knock knock gesture and then the auto activate when the screen is on so that just means it's going to always turn on every single time you look at your watch and the screen is on you have a scan method for auto scan the focus indicator color basically uh, here in one second i will demo it and you're going to notice that there is going to be a yellow circle around the the edges let me know that it is now activated for me to do the gesture navigations so you can change the color of it and then you also have the cursor scan you can change some of these settings as well and then if you want to add in action menu favorites you can add in i didn't add any in yet i've only been playing with this one for about 24 or 48 hours so i wasn't really fully able to go through every single piece of those so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to autofocus. I'm gonna show you a demonstration on the watch of how this works. So as a demo, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist my wrist twice. You're gonna see a yellow circle go around the full entire thing. Now, one of the things I am gonna do is I'm gonna show it to you with music. So what I can do is if I press on my fingers twice, like I do a pinch, it's going to basically tap it. If I wanted to go back the previous, I'd be able to go double tap. Now, if I wanna select something, I basically close the fist. And then now you can see that we are right here. Now I'll need to go to basically the next thing. And so how I'm able to go to the next thing is a tap. And let's see, I'm gonna do a double tap to be a little safe. And so let's see here, double tap, double tap. And you can see that I'm actually going to the previous thing. Uh, and so now once we get to the play button, I'm gonna close my fist. And then now it's gonna start playing the music. And so actually on my phone, it is now actually playing the music. If I basically close my fist once, it's gonna again select it. If I do it twice with the fist, it's gonna open up this little menu here. And this is gonna be next. This is gonna be next. This is gonna be next. This is gonna be back. This is gonna be back. And then this is gonna be, you know, select. So you can kind of see how, you know, it's doing a really good job. So if I wanna go back to a previous menu, I can do that. If I wanna to go to my apps, I just go to that. So, I mean, it's quite fun. It's pretty accurate. You just got to kind of play around with it a little bit. Um, and you can go through and you can take a look at all the actions on what they all mean and do uh, through the settings as well. Now, feature number two is a way that you're able to scroll through all the different clock faces a little bit easier than before. So beforehand, it was going to look like this, you know, pretty much the full entire way, even when you were to try to find a new one to use. So if we go just from the watch itself, you can see that now it is a vertical list and it's pretty much two by two by two, and they are also categorized. So you have the information or the informative ones, you're gonna have simple ones, health ones, basic ones, classic ones. So they're all gonna be right there. Pretty much the same thing over here, except they're gonna have your categories and then you're able to swipe left and right just because you know it is a little, a little bit larger of a screen, so it's easier for you to get this done. But on the watch itself, uh, you are able to pretty much go through and you can take a look at it two by two and it's gonna make it so much quicker and easier for you to find something that you do want to use. Now feature number three is one that I do love. It's a way that every single time that your display pops right back up, it is changing the image. So you're able to select what images you would like to show up every single time that you're, you know, twisting your wrist, meaning that you're not using it. And now you're looking at it to take a look at the time. 
you know, it's got that image, you know, it goes down, you come right back up, you take a look at your watch again, you got another image. So it's kind of like the dynamic lock screen on a Samsung phone, you're able to select which photos you would like to pop up. And so I'm gonna show you here how you're able to get it all set up. So what I did was I went onto the phone, I went inside of the Galaxy wearable application. Now there is one of these watch faces that allows for this. I mean, there's this one right here and I believe I saw two of them that had a dog and basically it's a photo album one. I didn't know which one to really choose on. So what I actually did to get this one all set up was I went inside of the tips and user manual and then I went inside of this what's new area. And with this what's new area, I moved on over. I found the area of where it was talking about how you can select your own albums and stories. I went inside of the settings right here. It found the exact one that I was looking for. And then you, either you can have a pre-made one, uh, but I went to background because I want to change my, back, my background of all these images. And so you just hit on this little plus button and then I can add more. Or if you're doing it for the very first time, you're choosing where you want the picture source to come from. So do you want it to actually be from all your photos or do you want an album to be chosen? Now for me, I didn't want to have a specific album. I wanted to have specific photos. So I went inside of photos. I selected, I think it's up to 20 different pictures and then you just basically hit on save. And then that's pretty much it. If there's any of these that you would like to take out. So let's say the picture of me, uh, you just hit the little X button, hit on save. And then now that's going to be your new dynamic little clock screen basically changing a picture every single time that you take a look at your watch. Now, feature number four is a way that you're able to dictate with the power button on the very top. So I went over to a tile. This is just my create note section. Uh, so if you go right here and you go to create note, now it happens to be that with this one, it'll automatically start picking up your voice. You can start speaking. It's going to dictate or you dictate and it's going to write everything out that you say. Or what you can do if this is like, let's say an email, text message, wherever you are, where you're able to write sentences, words, then all you have to do is press and hold. And then as you're pressing and holding, this is where you're able to dictate, say anything you want, and then you let go and then you are done. So it's a quicker, faster, easier way to do whatever you are doing. Uh, but yeah, you're able to now dictate with the, with the power button on the very top. Now, heading back over into the watch, the next tip that we're going to talk about, which is number five, is a way that you're able to have multiple timers. Now, originally, you were only able to have one timer. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes you may be cooking a few different things and maybe something you only need to put in there for like five minutes. And immediately right there, it's already starting to work. Now, if I hit on this little back button, it's going to take me right back to the tile and maybe I've got something else cooking and I need that to go for 15. And so now you can actually see that I have not only one, but I also have two timers going. And so now what you can do is if I maybe need to pause it or exit out of this one, that one's done. It went right back over into my other timer that I have going on. And there's, you know, you can set another one too. So you can have multiple timers going at once, which is one thing that I do find to be a little helpful. Feature number six is one that you've probably seen throughout this video. I've scrolled through it multiple times, and that is me taking a look at my battery tile. It's a tile that shows me the battery percentage of everything I'm connected to. There's my buds, there's my case, there's my phone, and there's my watch. So if I'm driving and I look at my watch really quick, I'd be able to take a look at this little battery tile and I know where my phone is sitting at because maybe it's in the pocket or maybe it's in the purse or maybe I'm at the gym, I'm working out, I wanna know what my battery life is on the case and the buds. I'd be able to do everything just by looking at my watch. And pretty much how you're able to add that in there is you just wanna go inside of tiles and they made this very, very easy. Again, it's just a vertical list. Everything is gonna be categorized and you'll be able to see the option for the battery tile with inside of one of these areas right here. And then you just basically select it and then you're able to move it around um, either on the watch or through here on where you want it to be. So I put mine kind of close to the beginning, you know, right next to my TV controls. And I have to say that that TV control one, I mean, the, the smart things tile, this is one that's definitely an honorable mention because right now I'd be able to turn off the TV. I can change the volume, mute it, or even change the channel. So a lot of times you might not know exactly where that remote is. You have multiple people in the house. It's switched to a different area of the couch, or maybe you're in the kitchen, you're watching TV, or you're in the kitchen eating food. You need to change the, the TV or maybe turn it off because maybe you're done. You'd be able to simply move over to this tile right here, hit the power button and turn it off. Or, you know, again, maybe you want it louder. You can just hit on the volume up. So that's just an honorable mention. Now, the very last one is one that is a big gripe with any time that you change your watch to another phone. Now, what you're able to do through the settings here is that you are able to connect this 
to another phone with everything it has already set up without having to restart the watch. Again, it's a very, very, very big deal. Now where you're able to find that is you would just wanna go inside of your watch settings and with inside of the watch settings, you can scroll down and first off, take a look at your accounts and backups. You can have save backup to Samsung account storage. So this way, you know, it's very, very easy to, you know, have this thing all backed up. But what you're able to do is if you go inside of general, you have this option right here, transfer watch to new phone. Now this is a big, big deal because now you don't have to reset this whole thing just because you're connecting to a brand new phone. Everything is gonna work and everything is just gonna transfer over. So if you need to transfer this watch to a new phone, you tap on this option. You just wanna make sure that you're logged in with your Samsung account on the new phone. That account will be used on the watch as well. Uh, you can also do this via Google accounts. This is here to continue the Google account on the watch and on the phone you want to connect to must match. So basically, if you get a brand new phone, you are simply able to transfer it to the new phone without having to reset and re-get all this stuff going again because maybe there's a lot of things that you changed and customized. But that is it for today's video. That is the top seven best brand new features. That's a part of the Samsung One UI 5 Watch Beta program. Uh, if you wanna watch the full entire thing of everything brand new, I'll place that link below the video inside the description and also maybe as a pinned comment along with the timestamps for this video. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.